It wasn't an easy decision at the time, but I don't regret it for a second. Of course, everyone's first thought was, where am I going to play? felt good, telling everyone I was sticking around and Tommy and I were going to play together. The next question was, did it actually work out? Pretty drastic turn of events for Coach O'Brien's program. I mean, the defensive pantry has been pretty much left dry with most of that elite unit having bolted for the NFL. But today, Coach O'Brien revealed a new strategy, and I think it's kind of brilliant. Get both heartbreak kids on the field at the same time. I mean, it's really a brilliant move. Here's the deal. You got to get all of your talented players on the field at once, certainly if they're going to rely on the offense for a change to be the strength of this team if they're planning on making another run at it. All right, Dan, show me what you got. Let's go. in here. gotta say I was surprised with the way you guys played that season and especially considering you switched positions. Plus Coach O'Brien really came into his own leading you guys to the verge of the playoff. Hard Rock Stadium, folks, it is filled to capacity. Everybody has been waiting for this college football Saturday, and we are just about set to get ready to rock and roll. It's the Florida Gators and the Miami Hurricanes. Take a shot right away. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 35. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Well, Charles, this is kind of interesting to watch because, as you and I remember well, back when they were blue chip prospects coming in. And at the seven yard line, the catch is made. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. 
So much chemistry between those two, making the connection with a former quarterback. And, boy, he does make a great target for Tommy Matthews' arm strength out wide, doesn't he? He certainly does. And you have to think to yourself, simpatico. These guys have known each other for so long. And while roles are reversed now, Matthews is the quarterback, not the receiver. It still works. They're still thinking with one brain, one mind. How about the way that they are hooking up for big plays like the one we just saw there? And really setting ego. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Gators have taken the early lead. First down, Matthews. On the left side, he finds Beasley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 33-yard line. Looking to throw on second down, Matthews. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. to six. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. He's going to go up top again. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Open man here is Scott, complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. Play action. Matthews. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. And he's going to go down again. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Off the play fake, Matthews. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. Matthews. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. That's caught inside the 20. A big play there. 56 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Off the play fake. Matthews. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. In the end zone. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. A lot of times, it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On fourth down, Matthews. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Yeah, yeah.
first and ten. Matthews got an open man. It's Scott. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns. Adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness and he's chipping away at their confidence. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Back to the air on second down. Matthews in trouble, and he's taken down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Throwing on third and long. Matthews is going to have the hook up to Scott. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. That's the end of the first half. With the score, Gators 14, Hurricanes 9. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And a hit and a loose football. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And it's a touchdown. fake here on first down and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down it's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one it's been this defense and here's another example on that last play an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 throwing again Matthews he's gonna rifle one deep left side and that's caught at the 25 and he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion, but this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. To throw again, Matthews. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. On third down, Matthews. He's got the first down inside the ten. And down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. The Gators now with a first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Third and two. 
Matthews to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Boy, it's such a good drive. You'd hate to have it end in three. Do you think about going for it? Absolutely. I mean, the fact that they've moved the ball so well should lead you to the decision that maybe we should go for it right here. Also, as a head coach. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. A two-yard touchdown. down. Matthews. He'll rifle this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. From the gun. Matthews. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown Florida. From 19 yards away. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. <laughs> Throwing on first down. Matthews. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. A big play there. The Gators push. On first and ten, Matthews. He's going to try and go deep again. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it here. And that's caught by Beasley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. On first down, Matthews. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they saw the contact before the ball arrives. Penalty fly for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And, and that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. From 19 yards away. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. like he'll throw here. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this one is incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again. Matthews toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. 
Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Matthews. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. Matthews. There's that man again. It's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A good pickup there. 21 yards. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. From the gun. Matthews. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. The missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off the drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys did not play offense. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. Operating from the gun. Matthews to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Back to throw again. And this is caught at the end. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You stop to get it done, as you noted, and they did. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Gators push that lead out. A really solid performance against a ranked opponent as they add a big win to the left-hand column. I want to talk about a story that's making the rounds, and that's the Heartbreak Kids and their indelible bond. Once again, taking college football center stage at the championship game later on tonight. It has been truly amazing and truly inspirational to watch this amazing journey that these kids have been on from start to finish to this point, showing off their character, their grit, their determination, their heart has been on full display for all of us to behold. And I normally don't say this, but I, for one, will be a heartbreak kid in spirit as they take the field in this big game tonight. Just one game remains in the college football season, and it promises, folks, to be one for the ages. The two top teams and the final collegiate appearance of the Heartbreak Kids as well here in the Big Easy for the College Football Playoff National Championship. It's the Miami Hurricanes and the Florida Gators. Here we go, the matchup we've been waiting for. Buckle in as we are off in the college football playoff national championship from New Orleans. And look at this, right away a loose football. A football on the play, recovered by the Gators. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain. <laughs>
throwing on first down. Matthews. Throw left side complete to Scott. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. And that is our first connection there for the heartbreak kids on the pass and catch, and I'm guessing probably not the last connection for them in this national title game. I would agree with that. Nice throw there by Matthews, put it right in his hands. But how about this young man and his switch to receiver? Think of what he's had to put into it all year long to get ready to go for this one. It's not as simple as just going in the backyard and changing over, and now you catch the ball instead of throwing it. You've got to run all those routes, be tough downfield, and make catches. I am really, really impressed with what I've seen from him thus far. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion since. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. They're going to try and throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. Play fake. Matthews. Throwing deep for Galladay. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he will score. Touchdown. <laughs> Off play action. Matthews. This is going to wind up a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and get your... Off the play fake. Matthews. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. A big play. Matthews. They'll get this one to Galladay. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 30 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 35. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Off the play fake. Matthews is going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field. And this is caught inside the five. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. They go play action here on first down. He's going to go deep for beat. And got his man complete. And all the way down to the 42. And a huge play that time. 49 yards. I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips in that secondary, and I suspect a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. He's going to take another shot here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no incomplete. Throwing again on second and 10. 
Matthews. And incomplete on the deep ball. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. And that went off the mark a little late with a throw. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. They'll look to throw again. And that is going to be incomplete. Now fourth down. First and 10, Matthews, and incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with, but it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. To throw again, Matthews. He hits Beasley right side. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 23 yards to pick up there. The Gators now with a first and 10. At the 45-yard line. Off the bootleg. Matthews. Over the middle. That's caught by Scott. Taking it right down Broadway. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. A big play there, 55 yards. <laughs> On first down, Matthews. Over the middle complete, it's Scott. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First half with the score, Hurricanes 29, Gators 28. Throwing on first down, Matthews. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Scott, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Looking to throw, Matthews, and yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. For number 40. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties, and he's able to knock that one away. Back to the air on second down, Matthews. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Third down. Third and 15. Throwing on third and long. Matthews looking left side and he's got a man. That's Scott. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Again, he'll drop the throw. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. From eight yards out. And the Gators.
On first and ten, Matthews. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Throwing again. Matthews over the middle, complete. It's Scott. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. 44-yard line. On first down, Matthews. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Scott. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really good pickup of 28 yards. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Throwing on first down, Matthews. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 20. The first down pass. Yes. On first and 10. Matthews, and he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Leads to second and 10. to throw again. Matthews, throw left side, complete. It's Scott, and he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. When they need to play on third down, you kind of know what direction the ball is going, but the defense knew it too. Yeah, it's a good call because they wanted to put two men on him, and they did. Dare him to throw into double coverage. Really what you're saying is, Let's see if one of your other receivers can beat us. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. <laughs> Off play action, Matthews. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Off the play fake. Matthews. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Because yeah, they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're assuming it leads to a play action sack. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. 
back to throw. That's taken in by the tight end, Perkins. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's good for another Florida first down. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one in second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on, and that's gonna be caught. Touchdown, Florida. down. Matthews over the middle complete. It's Perkins. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 13 yards and it keeps the drive moving. First and 10 at the 12 from the gun. Matthews. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. down. Matthews. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And they'll get this down to the 10. 15 yards through the air and a first down. First and 10 at the 10-yard line. Operating from the gun. Matthews. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. First and 10, Matthews, and this is caught at the eight. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards, the final tally. And on that last catch, Charles, he tops the 150-yard mark. It's one thing when your wideout gets that, when your tight end gets it, it's quite another. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. So start the celebration in Gainesville. For the first time since 2008, the Florida Gators are national champions. So truly a champion's performance. Weapons galore on the offensive side of the football. And they finish things off in style as they will be crowned the champions of the college football world. You know, it was really great what you did. What do you mean? I know you could have gone to the draft last year, but instead you risked everything to come back here and, and help us. It means a lot to me, man. Hey, we've been through it all together, man. You know I love you like a brother. <laughs> so, are you feeling thankful enough to finally admit that I'm Batman? Come on, let's not get carried away now. But hey, I will admit, you're no Robin. Okay, <laughs> well at least there's that. Superman. Soups. Oh yeah. Okay, I can work with that. Yeah, you know he's Batman's equal, his biggest rival. And even though they battle it out from time to time, they always wind up back as close friends. I could definitely work with that. <laughs> but hey, just in case you ever go stepping out of line, you should know that I always keep an extra thing of kryptonite on me at all times. You might need that in the NFL against me. No cap. <laughs>